Welcome into another edition of EPAC All Access here on TV10 and WRNR TV on YouTube. I'm Colin McLaughlin. Alongside me is Spencer Dupuy to my left and to my right, Nick Verzellini, as we are at Jefferson High School for the Cougar Camp here before the season begins. Last year, Jefferson 7-3 and three overall, 8-4 and four when it comes to the end of the season as they went 1-1 one and one in the playoffs to make it back-to-back -back playoff appearances for this team, guys. And it's a team on paper that looks like it might be able to do the same if not go farther into the playoffs this year in West Virginia. Yeah, I mean, they, they went down to, I believe it was Cabell Midland. Spring Valley. No, they went down to Spring Valley, beat Spring Valley, then went back down there and unfortunately fell to Cabell Midland the next week. But, I mean, those are two blue bloods here in the state of West Virginia. Huntington, I Huntington. Yeah, so let's start right. over because <laughs> you're 0 for 2. Why was I, Why do I have Cabell Midland in there? I don't know. I should have read that down for you, but it's all right. I felt good about that intro, too. Well, I wanted to see if one of you would laugh when I said I said Cougar Camp, though. <laughs> None of you did. <laughs> I was going to, but then I, I held it in. You want to end the recording here and restart it? We'll just restart it from here. Okay. It's fine. You could, like... Edit in a highlight now. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. And then just keep going since you liked your intro. Yeah, I can Bingo. do it. I can do it. Ready? I believe in you. Five, four, three, two, one. Welcome back to another edition of EPAC All Access here on TV10 and WRNR TV on YouTube. I'm Colin McLaughlin. Alongside me is Spencer Dupuy and Nick Verzellini. So we're at Jefferson High School for Cougar Camp here at Jefferson High before the season kicks off in a few weeks. And guys, this team, 7-3 and three overall in the regular season last year, finished 8-4 and four after going 1-1 one and one in the playoffs for back-to-back -back playoff appearances now in back-to-back -back seasons. And it's a team on paper that looks like it's set to maybe do the same thing again here this season, if not go farther into the playoffs here in West Virginia. Yeah, you look back at that game last year in the playoffs. They went to Spring Valley, took down Spring Valley, came back home for a week, went back down to that part of the state and fell to Huntington, unfortunately. But they're getting another rematch with Spring Valley. As Spring Valley will be on the slate here. They'll come, actually, to Cougar Stadium and take on the Cougars here on September 9th. That's a big highlight on their schedule. But I think you got to use last year's momentum with a new quarterback to push yourselves into this year because two years ago they made the playoffs with a gunslinger and slinging Sammy Roberts. And, you know, we, at this time last year when we were talking to Coach Hunter, he didn't know who his starting quarterback was going to be. There were some trials and tribulations, and you know, a few weeks into the season they found out it was going to be Dylan Harich, and he's back ready to go for his second season to be the quarterback for the Jefferson Cougars. And that's the thing. Harich is back, but the guys surrounding him are – pretty much gone when it comes to the skills positions. Only return really Keyshawn Robinson uh, from last year's wide receiver core that was, you know, Humphrey, Fritz, and Powell. All those guys are gone, and Evan tool has gone as well. So, but you know, you were stepping into that offense last year with all those skill positions coming back, and, and we felt like whoever came in there could come in and, and feel pretty confident with the guys around him. And this year, it's like the complete opposite. The quarterback has the experience, but the skill positions don't. And as I think you were going to mention that offensive line does oh, return, so that's, that's good to see. That's not what I was going to mention. I was going to mention the fact that you've got Keyshawn Robinson coming back. You'll have Roper coming back. And then you bring in a transfer here from Washington and Rodrigo Delgado, who chose to move over at going into the spring semester. So I believe he ran track in uh, or come January, he transferred over here. So I believe he ran track in the spring, was able to, to do that as well. And, you know, I think you, you can do a lot of different things with Rodrigo Delgado, and he may be able to be a guy that could fill the hole of, of a wide receiver that you lost if you throw it to him out of the backfield, if he is going to be a running back. Because obviously we know what Washington ran under Glenn Simpson. So he, he basically – Rodrigo Delgado just is a running back, essentially, but he could potentially go out wide this year. Yeah, he's a pure athlete. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if maybe here and there you see him at that quarterback spot just to see if they either go wildcat or want to see what his arm can do just to throw off a defense here throughout the season. But it's definitely going to be tough trying to replace Evan Toole, a guy that um, we get ready for here trying to replace him I mean back to back a thousand yard rushing seasons for him is definitely something that's going to be a challenge and then as you guys mentioned 
Warren Humphreys, Isaiah Fritz, Spencer Powell. Those are all guys as we're trying to keep calm here as Craig Hunter, who you'll hear from later on in this episode of EPAC All Access, trying to get us to break with a little shimmy in the background. Might have to get him to do that on air once he uh, <laughs> joins us here later on, show off his dance moves, maybe have a dance cam instead of a mic'd up session with him. Yeah, who knows? But, I mean, you look at the schedule that Coach Hunter and his coaches created this year. I mentioned, obviously, Spring Valley on the schedule. Uh, they were able to work something out and get and not backload their whole conference schedule. Uh, it's actually – pretty much like a regular schedule for them has been in years past. They got Spring Mills week one, week two, Sharando. They're at Sharando. They host Spring Valley. Then they're at Martinsburg the 22nd of September at home against Hedgesville the 29th of September. Into October, they go to South Hagerstown. October 13th, they're at Millbrook. October 20th, they're home against Musselman. October 27th, they host Clarksburg out of Maryland. And then they finish the year with the uh, Jefferson County rivalry at Washington taking on the Patriots. Well, I know that, you know, Washington and uh, Hedgesville won't be too happy that Spring Mills and Jefferson get to play week one, but they don't. But anyway, uh, you look at that schedule, I mean, it's it's pretty tough, especially that middle stretch once you get into week three where you're going Spring Valley, Martinsburg, Hedgesville, three straight playoff teams from a year ago. So uh, that that's going to be, I think, when we really figure out a lot about this Jefferson team because I think for me, you know, I think they'll be a playoff team, but can they become an elite playoff team? You know, and and be a team that we actually could see winning a state championship because Jefferson and pretty much every other boys sport is, uh, you know, in that contention. And I don't know if football is quite there. I mean, they've been really good the last two years. I don't want to take away any of these past two seasons' accomplishments, but can they take that next step where? You know, you're going to see them against a team like Martinsburg and, and be competitive. I mean, that, I think that's really where they want to be. Huntington, those kind of teams. You know, Spring Valley, obviously, I think a lot of people were maybe surprised that they went in there and got a win last year. So can they, you know, repeat that as well? Uh, that's when we'll kind of figure out, I think, how good this year's Jefferson Cougars team can be. Because I think they'll be a playoff team, but are they going to be toward the top? Are they going to be more middle? Or are they going to be toward the bottom? Really, I don't know. I, I, I think they'll be probably middle of the top, but you know they are losing quite a bit from last year. So can Harris, you know, still be that same quarterback and, and do some good things and get better from last year with the talented guys that are around them? Yeah, I think for them, I mean, you could, you host Spring Valley and then you get your bye week, so a really early bye week for them. But then it gets you a week to another week to prepare for Martinsburg, which obviously having those two games not back-to-back consecutive weeks is going to be huge on their schedule because those are, you know, basically the two toughest games on their schedule. It'll be interesting to see what our head coach here and Craig Hunter has to say as well as the stars of this Jefferson Cougar team here for this upcoming season. But let's now step aside, take our first break here on EPAC All Access, and when we come back, we'll be joined alongside Coach Craig Hunter. This is EPAC All Access on TV 10 and WRNR TV on YouTube. The Joint Commission, in conjunction with the American Stroke Association, recently awarded WV Medicine Berkeley Medical Center advanced recertification as a primary stroke center, which signifies WV Medicine's dedication to fostering better outcomes for patients and demonstrates that our program continues to meet critical elements to improving outcomes for stroke patients. WV Medicine Berkeley Medical Center is committed to providing patients the highest quality stroke care in the region. Laura, hey Laura, what's with the sunglasses? Ouch! The word is spreading. Bechtel Jewelers is home to some dangerously brilliant diamonds. See the difference at Bechtel Jewelers in Inwood. Sunglasses, Sunglasses not included. included. 
I pre-planned my funeral to make it easier on my family. They were relieved to know I'll get just what I want. My family actually thanked me for taking matters into my own hands. Turns out having this awkward conversation wasn't awkward at all. Pre-planning is my choice. There are certain things about me my family may not know. Now they won't need to guess. The choices are yours. The peace of mind is theirs. Pre-plan your funeral with Brown Funeral Homes and everything will be taken care of. Find out more online at brownfuneralhomeswv.com. Brown Funeral Homes, here for you. With four new car dealerships and four used car dealerships in three states, Parsons is the largest used car and fastest growing new car dealer in the tri-state area. Take Parsons Ford with huge savings on hundreds of new Fords, financing from 0%, Parsons' goal of financing for all, and Parsons' famous above-market trade-in allowances that help make Parsons number one for used cars, too. See why so many won't buy anywhere but Parsons Ford in Martinsburg. We became number one by making you number one first. Parsons. Welcome back inside EPAC All Access here on TV10 and WRNR TV on YouTube. Colin McLaughlin alongside me, Spencer Dupuy, as we're now joined by the head coach of the Jefferson Cougars, Craig Hunter. Coach Hunter, thank you for being here today. Uh, looking forward to your upcoming season. Just tell us a little bit about your team here this year that you got. Uh, you know, we got a, we lo as everybody knows, we lost a couple key guys. Uh, we got some people that's coming back. Um, a lot of youth that we've seen over the summer. Um, stepped up in the off season uh, that we're going to depend on to help get us through uh, this season make some big plays but we like I said we do have a lot of key members coming back um, including um, you know quarterback um, lot, some linemen defensive linemen defensive secondary linebackers a lot of those guys are coming back this year and we're hoping uh, to kind of redo what we did last year but maybe on a more positive note as far as getting further in the playoffs and probably hopefully having a better uh, regular season record and, you know, you mentioned quarterback there. When we talked to you last year, uh, you didn't even have a, a quarterback yet. I mean, you didn't tell us publicly. You had a few guys that were vying for that spot in the first couple of weeks. It didn't work out with one. You go to Herrick. He's the spark that your team needs to go down and get into the playoffs and finish 7-3 and three on, or overall 8-4. and four. Uh, What has his progression been from year one to year two? Uh, right now, you know, he's, he's progressing pretty well. Uh, there's still some things that um, – Everybody needs to work on some things we're still working on with him. Um, a lot of it, more of it is just technical. Uh, not a lot of stuff that, that he doesn't know the offense. He knows the offense real well, knows what things are supposed to happen, how things are supposed to happen, where the ball's supposed to go. He knows all that stuff. It's just a lot of little bit of, little bit of tweaks that we're just trying to make to make him to make him a better player, make him a be better person as far as it goes for the program. So last year you guys really wanted to air it out because of all those athletes that you had, guys like Warren Humphreys, Isaiah Fritz, and Spencer Powell now graduated. In the backfield you had Evan Tool, a guy that was back-to-back 1,000-yard -back rushing seasons. You still got a guy like Keyshawn Robinson, Tayshawn Roper, going to step up as well as maybe some Jackson Rockwell alongside for that offense. But just talk about, I guess, the new guys that are upcoming trying to fit into this offense with you. Uh, well, like you said, we have those guys. We also we still have who got some significant time last year. Caleb Shelton, I'm um, at the receiver spot. Uh, we have Brady Roberts. We have um, Aiden Miller. Um, you mentioned Jackson Rockwell with the new addition, uh, moving into our district and transferring over here. We have Rodrigo Delgado, um, who came over here, who's going to help us out a lot um, this year, offensively and defensively. You talk about Rodrigo there. He's obviously coming from a Washington offense that was. Obviously, that wing style offense where he was the he was running the ball most of the time. What is his position going to be in your offense? Uh, he's going to play some of the same roles that he played uh, um, at Washington. He'll run the ball some for us. Uh, we we've learned in the off season that he can he's a very good receiver out the backfield. Uh, so you know there could be times that we try to get you know all these guys on the field. He could be sitting out in the slot, sitting out the, the X receiver. Um, and I stone the ball to him because he has really good hands. He has really good speed. Um, so we want to make sure we utilize the athletes that we have the best we can. How big of a plus is it for you on both sides of the ball returning your linemen? Uh, it's huge. Um, you know, we don't go. We only go as far as the line goes, offensively and defensively. Um, if if the offensive line is is struggling, then evidently everybody knows that your offense is going to struggle. If the defensive line struggles and you can't get any, any penetration with the defensive line, then you're going to struggle. Uh, so it's, it's really good that we have a lot of those key guys returning this year uh, to help us out um, getting things going early in the season. You talk about a guy on the line on the defensive side 
Quentin Goins, he started out the season last year, I believe, as your quarterback. He kind of molded, obviously didn't work out at quarterback, but he molded himself to be a pass rusher. And now he's got, you know, a few few offers coming in to be, you know, a pretty good pass rusher. One coming from a D1 program, one coming from a, a you know, a program within the state in West Liberty. What have you seen from him as he kind of takes on a different role? Because obviously he went into the season, hey, last year, hey, I'm the quarterback, I'm the guy, and then it didn't work out for him. And he, you know, some players, I feel like if that's, you know, if they want to play quarterback and unfortunately it doesn't work out, they may not, you know, want to play at all. But he kind of molded himself into a really good pass rusher as the season went on. Uh, well, you know, with Quentin, uh, we saw that I think more or less his um, – sophomore year that he could do some things at defensive end pass rushing um, and when things didn't go well for uh, him at quarterback or we turned to a different person at quarterback then we kind of just pressed him to go go and play defensive end we knew it could be a big a big thing for him and it could open up a lot more doors for him uh, playing at defensive end and we knew he could we knew he could sort at that position I think um I think the ceiling is high for Quentin the defensive end. I think he's going to be a guy that teams are going to be trying to look at on film is how we're going to how we're going to block him. Um, he's he's a big guy, big strong guy who has some athleticism. Um, so I think he's he's he can be hard to block. I think in games he was hard to block this year, and we're looking for big things for him to hold down that defensive line for us um, as we get things going in the beginning of the season. I want to go back to something that we kind of touched on earlier, and it was last season. Still overall pretty good success. I mean, back-to-back playoff appearances now for your team. But as you said, you want it to end differently. You want to get deeper into the playoffs as for those back-to-back seasons. It was two games, one win, and then one loss, unfortunately, to end that season. But what are some of the steps that you're putting into place to, I guess, get over that hump and achieve that next goal of getting deeper? I just try to get the athletes to understand um, the commitment it takes to try to get there. Uh, what it's going to take for them and us together, working together as a unit as coaches and athletes to be able to get there. Um, you know, we, we're trying to make sure that we utilize all our athletes that we have offensively and trying to get all the best kids on the field um, as, as, as much as we possibly can and getting the balls in their, and getting the ball in their hands. Uh, we have a lot of dynamic guys that I think if we get the ball to them in space offensively that they can do great things. And then defensively, uh, I think we're just going to be, you know, really fast out there. I mean, we got some guys out there that can really run and can really move. Um, so we just got to put them in, in the proper positions defensively to make, so they can make plays for us. And, you know, going back to a guy that we mentioned a little bit, he he's going to be, you know, one of the focal point, one of the leaders on your team. Obviously, I believe we talked to him last year on EPAC All Access was Keyshawn Robinson. Uh, he goes out to West Virginia, and he's got a – he verbal commits there after getting an offer. Uh, he, you know, he's a two-way player for you. He plays receiver. He plays defensive back. How much of a leader is he going to be on your team this year? Uh, he's going to be a, a big leader. I mean, Keyshawn, if you talk to Keyshawn, Keyshawn's not a very vocal guy. Um, but just what he does and how he's going to do things is going to have to be his leadership role. Uh, he's not he – he's very quiet. So um, he's going to do his actions um, to le- give it for leadership purposes. Um, you know, he's been big for us. He's here. He's working hard every day. Um, we have to make him take breaks. Uh, so he goes hard every day in practice. He works hard. He wants everybody to be successful. He tries to help everybody out. So he's going to be big for us uh, this season. Um, I'm pretty sure everybody's eyes are going to be on him when he steps on the field to see how we're going to get him the ball, when we're going to get the ball. So, you know, we need other guys to step up to take the pressure off of him so um, we can actually get the ball to him and now they're not paying attention to him as much because other guys are soaring. Looking at this upcoming schedule, uh pretty spread out with your conference games I know we've talked about it a little bit um, with the change here a lot of conference games now kind of pushed back but you guys do still get to start week one against Spring Mills and we've already talked with Hedgeville and coach Matt Faircloth about setting the tone for them in a game for you guys to set the tone against an up-and-coming Spring Mills team what are you looking forward to in week one uh, I'm looking for probably a really tough game uh, like we talked before on the phone a little bit I think that you know they're going to be they're going to be a solid team this year I think you know Max runs the ball really hard he's gotten better as a quarterback uh, they've added some pieces in the receiving court their defenses was tough last year I'm pretty sure it's going to be even better this year it's going to be a tough opening game for us um, you know to try to get a win and get a victory to get this thing rolling on the right on the right start for us uh, but you know I think our kids are up for the task and, and up for the challenge and, you know, talking about your non-conference schedule here, 
We always see you at those regional games up and down I-81. You had a Clarksburg, Maryland team this year, and then you go within the state and uh, add a game with the team that you uh, ended up playing in the playoffs last year in Spring Valley. Uh, how did that Spring Valley game come around? Because I know it's hard to get them to come up this way in the state. <laughs> well, um, it was actually on the table before we played them in the playoffs. Um, so we were we were thinking about playing them before we played them in the playoffs, and then we just had to, you know, pull the trigger and make a decision at some point in time. And I, you know, it's sometimes it's better to play teams in your state so you can get that recognition and everybody understand and everybody can see your kids and know your kids better than playing out of state teams all the time because then they don't know them like they don't know how good a Sharando really is or how good maybe a Clarksburg is because they're out of state and they're on this side. Um, of West Virginia out of state so you know going and playing a, a Spring Valley um, other teams in the state are really know uh, what you really what you're really going up against and, and who you're playing all right coach any final thoughts before we let you go no nah, I'm just anxious to get back to practice all right thank you for your time and appreciate coach Hunter here when we come back we'll be joined by a player of the Jefferson Cougars so don't go anywhere this is EPAC all access on TV 10 and WRNR TV on YouTube this is Eric at Hancock Chevrolet. Over the last decade, the way we buy things have evolved. Now, you get on your phone, click Want It, and it shows up at your front door. At Hancock Chevrolet, it is that easy. We've changed the car buying experience on the I-81 corridor forever. And with a return policy better than Walmart, there's absolutely no reason to buy a new or used car, truck, or SUV anywhere else. Just like Amazon, Hancock Chevrolet will deliver the vehicle to you, where you are, and on your time. And if you don't want it, return it. No questions asked. Why waste your time in a car dealership playing the dumb back and forth games? Besides, we hate it more than you do. I assure you, no dealership from Winchester, Virginia to Washington, D.C. will beat our price. No dealership from Cumberland to Baltimore, Maryland will beat our price. And no other dealership will allow you to return it if you don't want it. Hancock Chevrolet absolutely provides the best experience at the best price. Visit HancockChevy.com to schedule your VIP experience. Click on the vehicle you want, and your new ride will be delivered to you at no risk. See dealer for details. We are the Skinner Brothers. Most folks only need a lawyer once or twice in their lives. And when they're injured or in an accident, most people don't know what to do. We get it. It can be overwhelming. Nobody likes to be told, you need a lawyer. But that's why we're here. We want to get you back to your normal life and help you recover. So if you or loved one has been in an accident, give us a call. Let us figure out how we can get you compensation. Reach us at SkinnerWins.com or Google Skinner Lawyers. We'll treat you like family. Hefley Motor Company, just off I-81 at 993 Hedgesville Road, is a family-owned and operated business providing the Eastern Panhandle with the highest quality pre-owned vehicles and customer service since 1997. Hefley is a pre-owned Carfax Advantage dealer. We're proud to be your partner serving the community. You're local, we're local, so why not buy local? Call us at 304-267-7172 or see us at 993 Hedgesville Road. And if you want to sell your car, we buy cars too. Check us out at Hefley.com. Hefley Motor Company, a nice place to do business. Welcome back into EPAC All Access here on TV10 and WRNR TV on YouTube in a very windy Shenandoah Junction, West Virginia. Colin McLaughlin alongside me, Spencer Dupuy, as we're now joined by Rodrigo Delgado, a new member of the Jefferson Cougar family. And Rodrigo, just, I guess, uh, first question, tell us a little bit of how um, settling in here to Jefferson High School has been. It's been pretty good. Um, I came after the first semester of school, so... I was able to you know, get into school and build relationships with my, my teammates now and just be around the people that I'll be playing with and stuff. I, I believe you were in the uh, – you, you ran track in the spring, right? Yes, sir, I did. So you were a part of that 4x4 uh, team that included a lot of guys on this team? Yeah, I was on. I was an alternate for the 4x2 in case because we had, we had a couple injuries. So, But, yeah, it was very fun running out here with track because most of these guys are with track, so we were able to build a relationship. Coach Hunter coaches track too, right? Yes, sir, he does. So how was that kind of getting to know him – coaching a different sport but uh you know kind of getting that early relationship built it was good it was fun you know we talked a lot about track too he helped me out getting faster and stuff and talking about football a little bit too so it was really fun so we were talking with coach hunter a little bit about your game here trying to just see um how you fit in so far under the offense and where you're going to be and it sounds like you're probably going to be moved around as much as possible just to see uh throughout the season what works best for you what are you excited for in that aspect I'm just very excited to be able to play different positions and you know just get involved in any way I can to help the team win and stuff so it's very fun 
And you go from a Washington team last year that ran the wing, and you come here, and it's more of a spread offense. Obviously, you're used to, I guess, taking the ball and running with it right away. Now you're going to have a quarterback to, you know, either get you the ball on a toss or a handoff or throwing it out of the backfield or lining up as receiver. Uh, how much of a difference is that for you going to be kind of changing a position in a way from as well as the offense changing for you? You know, it's a little different, but, you know, like growing up in Little League, played a lot of running back and receiver as well. So, I mean, getting used to that scheme was and getting back into this, it's a little different, but I don't really miss much. You know, it's, it just feels natural still. Let's talk about, I guess, the competitiveness here early on between your teammates in practice and just, I guess, how much of a boost that's going to be going into the upcoming season for you guys. It's been very fun. You know, we've had a lot of injury, energy, and um, it's just I just love I love being I love competing in general. So being out here and competing with my teammates, it's, it's fun. When you look at your schedule this year, you're going to be able to face, you know, one of the top teams in the state, you know, year in and year out in Spring Valley, out of conference. How big is that going to be kind of as like they're going to come here this year, obviously. It's going to be a Saturday. It's not going to be a Friday night. Um, how cool is it going to be to, you know, be able to play and compete on a high level against a, a very good team in the state? It's going to be very fun. I'm very excited. I've been knowing that we were going to play them this year. I've already been they already circled on my calendar. I'm excited to play them and play like a powerhouse in the state like you said so I'm very excited. What are some of the goals that you and the team have already uh, sent into place early on here? Just definitely like win the games you have to win and get into the playoffs. I mean, you know, they're uh, very upset they lost back to back year second round and I definitely want to be a part of that and you know break through that and get to the third and even the fourth round. Talking with uh, just the team and trying to look at this coming up season for you guys Dylan Harris at that quarterback spot just talk a little bit about I guess your guys's relationship so far yeah we've, we've played a lot growing up so we already had a relationship before I came here and, and you know it's just fun being back out here with them and just being as a team together what uh, things have you been doing this summer going to any college prospect camps or anything yeah I've gone to a couple of camps I unfortunately got injured at uh, WVU pulling my hamstring during my 40s so uh, I wasn't able to go to all the camps I wanted to but I'm just still thankful to have that experience because, you know, it taught me not to, like, you know, just not take anything for granted. And I was able to heal and get back and then get back here. I was still, be able, to, I was still able to come out here and practice with my teammates. So even though it sucked, it was um, it went pretty good. What should our expectations be for the team this year here at Jefferson? I mean, just definitely expect the same Jefferson Cougars you've seen in the past two years, you know, where I think we're going to be able to be a good team and just fight. Got anything else? All right. Thank you. Rodrigo here as we step aside and take a break on the other side of this break. We'll be joined by another Jefferson Cougar here on EPAC All Access on TV10 and WRNR TV on YouTube. Radon is the second leading cause of lung cancer deaths in the United States each year. But do you know the radon levels in your home? Home is a place to live, love, and laugh, not a place to breathe air containing radon. The Berkeley and Morgan County Health Departments are distributing free confidential radon test kits, and you can get yours at the Berkeley County Health Department office in Martinsburg and the Morgan County Health Department office in Berkeley Springs. Protect your home and family. Get your free radon test kit today. Automotive, what we do today will tomorrow become what we've done. That's why Owners Just Do More no longer defines us. Our work is never done because what we live by doesn't have a finish line. We care. Our company of owners is moving lives forward every day by finding more ways to care before, during, and after your purchase. Because when you're happy, so are we. Carter Myers Automotive. Proud to be the owners who just care more. W. Harley Miller Systems understands the need and desire for reliable and affordable smart home solutions. Secure your home with a security system and keep a close eye on your family. Automate your home with a control force system and have smart technology work as one. Set daily schedules to control your thermostats. Push a button and set the mood for dinner by dimming lights and playing music, or just sit back and enjoy a movie in your own home theater. Put decades of experience to work for you 
visit us at whmsystems.com or call 304-350-1931. Welcome back to EPAC All Access here on TV10 and WRNR TV on YouTube. Colin McLaughlin and Spencer Dupuy joined alongside now Keyshawn Robinson here of Jefferson. And Keyshawn, it's been a big off season for you making a name around the state. So let's get into that first off and talk about uh, your verbal commit here to West Virginia University, man. Um, I definitely think it's a it's a good experience to be out, be able to have an opportunity like this and be able to play for this team and show off for the state, show who I am, and make a big name for our team. And I definitely think it's a – I think I made a good option to commit at W. What was that, that process like, uh, being up there and going through the camp and everything that you went through before you verbally committed? Um, it was pretty well. I think I ran – pretty good times. I, I did pretty well during the, the camp. Did some good receiver drills and stuff with the coaches. Got to meet other coaches. Made uh, good relationships with them. And, uh, you know, how much of kind of is that off your back already, knowing you're already committed and, you know, coming up here in a, in a few short months, you'll be signing that letter of intent and you don't have to worry about it going into your senior season? Um, I definitely think it takes a lot off my back. So it's a lot easier to just focus on one thing. It's just to finish my senior season and get ready to sign. And let's get into that senior season now for your team here for Jefferson. You got Dylan Harris back at the spot of the quarterback role. I guess just let's start off with um, kind of how you guys have grown together now, year one under your belt together. Um, I definitely think we we've grown a lot together. I think he's I think Dylan's starting to get a lot better at QB. We're starting to get a lot more connections towards each other, and I think that. He's definitely, I'm definitely going to be the main target this, this season for him, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show that I'm the main target, the main priority for us to help our team. And coach, was, coach was talking about uh, kind of the younger guys stepping up, you know, with the loss of Fritz and Powell last year along with Humphreys. So because obviously you're the guy on this team, so you're probably going to get that double coverage. So, you, you know, those younger guys stepping up and kind of taking the pressure off you, how big is that going to be for your team this year, kind of helping – because, you know, the beginning of the season, I, just, just my presumption, you're going to get that double coverage. They're going to be able to, to make plays a little bit more. And then when people see the flash from your other teammates, they're going to maybe double cover them, and you're going to be open down the field. Oh, yeah. I, I definitely think uh, we got a lot of other teammates that are pretty athletic that we can count on, too. And I definitely think, like, we can figure out some plays that just make it happen. It's been back-to-back -back seasons for your team now making the playoffs, but unfortunately ending the way that you guys don't want it to end. And we've asked uh, now Rodrigo as well as Coach Hunter this question, what are some of the steps that you guys are trying to take to change that? Um, we're trying to – I feel like right now we're just trying to practice on seeing who we can hit during the game and stuff, see if we could just switch people in and out, receivers, see who could, just, who could help us out and make big plays. Besides just worrying about me being the main priority, I definitely think we could just switch different players around and just try to work it out. How cool has it been to have Rodrigo Delgado come over to Jefferson this year? And, you know, there's the versatility that he adds. I mean, we talked about the guys you lose, but you also lose your running back from last year in Evan Tool, I believe has the most rushing yards in Jefferson history. How big is Rodrigo going to play into your offense? He's, I definitely think he's a big impact to our team because he's, he's really fast. He's he runs like a what four five forty, and I definitely think he's he's got some weight on him, so he definitely helped our offense a lot this year. Let's talk about your impact on the other side of the ball now. The defense, something that uh, you like doing as well, and just talk to us a little bit about how that backfield is trying to rebuild now. Um, I I don't think we lost too much on defense. Like we had some young guys last year that are here to the, uh, this year, and I definitely think that to switch them around a lot we got different plays we're starting to make we got uh our coach our db coach newman he's starting to come up with a lot of other plays that we could run against uh other offenses and stuff trying to figure out new things to help us let's well, now i guess final question give us your goals for yourself this year as well as the team goals that you have um i definitely think trying to get over a thousand yards this year and help us with how much help us get to the third round playoffs at least all right, Keyshawn, well, good luck this season and appreciate the time on here as we take another break here on EPAC All Access. And on the other side of this break, we'll have more for you here on TV10 and WRNR-TV on YouTube. Nothing goes better with football than chicken. 
From Pee Wee to the Big Boys to the Wing T Formation, a hearty meal of 12 pieces for $12 is just what the boys need to be at their best. Oh my, fumbling, bumbling, stumbling. Omaha! Rock's 12 pieces of chicken, just $12. The Joint Commission, in conjunction with the American Stroke Association, recently awarded WV Medicine Berkeley Medical Center advanced recertification as a primary stroke center, which signifies WV Medicine's dedication to fostering better outcomes for patients and demonstrates that our program continues to meet critical elements to improving outcomes for stroke patients. WV Medicine Berkeley Medical Center is committed to providing patients the highest quality stroke care in the region. I'm Jonathan Bodwell, Bodwell Insurance Solutions, your local Medicare and life insurance agency. We are here to help you navigate the Medicare maze. We represent all of the major carriers, and you do not pay any more to go through us than if you go directly through a carrier. But if you go through us, you have a local professional to help you with all your Medicare needs, not a voice that could be in some other part of the world. Bodwell Insurance Solutions, your local Medicare agency. BodwellInsuranceSolutions.com or 304-283-0864. It's the excitement of NCAA Division II football on TV10 featuring the Shepherd University Rams. He'll throw it, it's intercepted by Harrison. Dante Harrison is Mr. Touchdown on defense. Join us on Saturday, September 2nd, as the Rams kick off the 2023 season against Southern Connecticut State at Rams Stadium. Kickoff is set for noon with pregame coverage beginning at 11.30 a.m. right here on TV10 and WRNR TV on YouTube. Follow me around, make me nervous. <laughs> hey, listen up, listen up, listen up, real quick, real quick. Hey, when we break in this segment, we break in this segment, we ready to go. All right, fast and hard, let's get through this segment. You got me? What are you wearing? Does that, does, does that even fit you? What is that, your little brothers? That's no. He's on the interstate, sir. Freshman year. He's on the interstate. Oh, who that's tight. Hey, spread yourselves out. Spread yourselves out. Pay attention. Make sure you're paying attention. Hey, don't sit back in the back and not pay attention to what's going on. Back up, back up. Starting off basic. We're going to let's go. That makes sense. None at all. None at all. Hey, slow walk it down, slow walk it down. I know you I know you didn't give you a cadence. Slow walk it down. Here we go. Five Move out. Oh, move out, move out, move out, move out, move out, move out, move out. On number two, on number two receiver. We'll shoot. 44, we'll shoot. Ready. Red nine. Red nine to go. Good, bounce, bounce, good. bounce. Hey, bounce, bounce. Here we go. Reach test, bounce, bounce. Hustle back. Bounce and catch, bounce and catch. Here we go. 55, 55. Joker, Joker, Joker. Wait, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Two, nine. Now, now, now. Two, nine. Dead. Good job, good job. To go. Give me a new D line. New D line. That linebacker court can stay in if you need to. Hey, Brady, Brady, come in for Takeem. Irving. Who else we got? Who else we got? Aiden, go to Wells. DJ, step out. Hey, uh. Yeah, get, get like a second group. Edward, oh, Edward. Uh, yeah, cause I, I got a young group I'm going to work in too for the yeah, split front. I got you. Yeah. We good? We're good, we're good, we're good. Here we go. Let's be sharp. Four reps. Four yeah, reps. Mouthpiece in, mouthpiece is in. All right, here we go. 44, Mike shoot. 44, Mike shoot. Red nine. Red nine, Ten. Bounce, bounce, come on, Edward, bounce. Yeah, good job. Reset, Re-step, reset. bounce, come on. Move out a little bit. 44, balls, 44, balls. Red eight, red eight, hit. 
Hustle back. Hustle back. Good job, Hustle Brady. Back. Here we go. 55, Joker. 55, Joker. Red nine. Red nine. Hit. Good job, Paneros. Good job. Last one. Last one. Here we go. 44. Punch. Ball. 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 Red nine. Red nine. Hit. Good job. Good job. Give me that young group. Give me that young group. Brennan, 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 Brennan. Brent, Brent. Quarterback, I'll be the running back. All right, fellas. All right. Are fellas. we? What are we? Are we in a four-four? Uh, yeah. Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah. So now, listen, listen. Now, right now, you are the spur. All right, you're the spur. You're still the bandit. You got me. Storm. Sting is inside. So Storm, you'll come outside. Sting, you're going. You're going that gap. You got me. You know what that power right. call? That power call tells you guys you gotta get. Red Say pirate, fight! Red eight, eight. There you go, Brent. Oh, there you go, Brent. Hustle back, last rep, last rep. Brent, 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 don't show it too soon. Good job, good job. Here we go. Back. It's back. Storm, storm, storm. Red Walk it down, walk it down. All right, make sure you give him that pirate call. All right. Gotta give him a pirate call. Let's go. Brent, Brent. You gotta give a pirate call. You gotta give a pirate call. That pirate call is gonna tell him. He's going inside. He don't have the outside gap anymore, all right? Both of them? That's you. That's you. That's you. That's you. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Nick, 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 Nick. All right, here we go. Two more reps, fellas. Two more reps. Here we go. Strong left. Storm, storm, storm. Pirate, pirate. Oh, easy, easy, easy. Back up. Back up. Time to cadence. Time to cadence. We're gonna yell. We're gonna give him a pirate call. Time to cadence. Come off the edge hard, hard and fast. Storm, storm, red, all right, eight. All right. red, eight, there you go. There you go. All right, fellas, last one, last one, last one, last one, last one. Strong green. There you go. Here we go. Ball, ball, ball. Blue, nine. Pirate, 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 pirate. Say pirate, pirate. Gotta give him that power call. Listen, right. listen, come here. You gotta give him a pirate right, call. Pirate call up, real up. loud. No. And when you come, freaking come. Got me come hard off the edge, all right? All right, go get a breakdown with the team. Hurry, 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 hurry. Hey, go get a drink, get a drink, get a drink, get a drink.